I'm Hazus, and in this video, we're gonna be trolling a Cisco scammer. We're gonna lure him in, play dumb, make him think he's got us dead to rise, and then we're gonna do something that will make him crap his pants. It's gonna be great. Sponsored by Skinport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. More about them later. Now, you may be wondering, how do you go about finding a scammer? And the answer is actually surprisingly straightforward. You don't find scammers, they find you. All it takes is three simple ingredients, a skin worth at least $500, an old account, and a few screenshots. So in my case, I transferred some skins over to my alt, Bootylicious426.9, I changed my bio to say I was 17, so I looked like a dumb kid who could be easily scammed. I also added some Steam groups to make my profile look a bit more authentic. And finally, I went into game and took a screenshot, which I added as a showcase on my profile. Now, if you're wondering why I'm bothering with this screenshot step, it's actually really simple. You see, let's say you have friends on Steam. I, I mean, I don't, I don't have any friends. I'm actually really lonely, but let's say you do. Well, what do friends on Steam do? But what they do is they spam a giant set of cock and balls on their friends' profiles, obviously. But there is a limit to how much you're allowed to throw your dick around because thou limits you to 10 comments per day. And this is actually meant to make it harder for people to get scammed because scammers can only spam so many comments in prospective victims' profiles each day. But there are no limits to the number of comments you can leave on a screenshot. So th this is, you know, the ideal place scammers like to leave comments. So Basically, I've stuck a little honeypot in the middle of my profile, and with the account ready, all we have to do is wait and see who turns up. Well, three days later, I had some results. A bunch of very nice people were asking me to add them. People like Joker, who asked me to add him, despite the fact he'd already added me anyway, and who claims to have the number one inventory in CSGO based on this totally not bullshit Gyarzo image he linked on his profile, but unfortunately, that inventory has to be kept private because of impersonators. Well, that's awfully convenient, isn't it? Now, I also got this comment from Keith, who asked to buy my knife, even though I don't have a knife on this account. Nice research, bro, you fucking idiot. And I even got an invitation from JoeCSGORoll.com, or I got an invitation from his discussion account. Anyway, yes, he his discussion account. And if you don't know who Joe is, well, he's the second highest ranking inventory on CSGO Exchange. But there's a bit of a catch because Joe is actually an old gambling bot that's been banned since 2017. So I'm not quite so sure he's still trading at this point. But being the nice guy that I am, I figured I'd add all these guys and hear them out. Well, after a little while, I got a message from a lovely gentleman called Sensei. Now, Sensei's profile is a work of art. He's verified, guys. He's verified. We, we know you can trust him. He's verified. And then there's a matter of his cash reputation thread, which I kid you not is a link that leads to this. I, I, I don't know what he's going for with that. Now, if we go further down, there are some very interesting rules for trading. Firstly, he only pays under the market price. Keep that in mind, by the way, that is going to come up again. He only pays under the market price. And he says he always goes first. Always. Again, keep that in mind. And finally, down the bottom of the page, he's got a bunch of comments from other scammers talking about fake transactions they never had with him. Legit and trusted. Well, on Steam, there is no surer sign of a scammer than those two words put together. Oh, and by the way, his inventory is literally just a bunch of Chroma 3 cases too, except for these two knives, which he recently scammed off this guy. So I knew who I was dealing with, and with that kind of taken care of, I think we can get onto the scam itself. So Sensei sends me this message. Now we'll try and make this as realistic as possible. Basically he says, hey. Are you looking to sell your play skins, the Devo, the Howl, and the Fire Serpent? Can we talk if you're looking to sell it? Because I'm interested in buying it. And I was like, hell yes, looking to sell the d Law and the Howl. Now, he immediately responded with, Who? Do you have Discord? Which is a really common thing for a scammer to say. They like getting you on Discord so that the logs can't be read by Steam support, so it's harder to ban them. And naturally, I was not going to play ball with this. And this is where I really began to start screwing with him. Beginning with a simple little question, what's Discord? Discord app account, no? Don't you know it? And I replied, I is this like some outside program? I, I, I really don't trust downloading stuff outside of Steam. It's in social media app rule, no? We just need to make an account not related on Steam. It's just like Messenger like that. Now, I figured I needed a, a pretty good explanation to wriggle my way out of this one, so I decided to reply. 
But is it safe? I don't want to download anything outside of Steam. I had a really bad experience when I was downloading hentai recently and my computer got hacked. I had to pay a lot of money to get the hacker to go away. I'm in a really tight financial spot. I need the money from selling their skins, but I can't afford to get hacked again. It's safe, bro. Nothing to be worried about. You will never log into your Steam account there. You can download it on Play Store if you're using Android or Apple Store if you're using iPhone. Do we have to, though? Can't we just talk here? I'm still really nervous about this shit. Okay, sure, no problem. But I just usually use Instagram and Discord. Can you believe this guy? I tell him that I can't do it because I was downloading hentai and got a virus. And he fucking believed me. <laughs> he must have really wanted my skins. Anyway, the next thing I did was try and set a price and also tell him my life story while I was at it. Okay, how much are you willing to pay for the skins? I was hoping to get $10,000 for them. It'll be enough for me to finally move out of home. My mum drinks a lot and is really abusive. This might finally give me a second chance. Now, you'll be shocked to hear that the scammer didn't feel any pangs of conscience over this whatsoever, but he did decide to clarify just how much he was going to be able to steal off me. Or the three play skins? Just for the Howl and the Dragon Law. I, I love my Fire Serpent too much to sell it. It's the best skin ever added to the game. I, I can't let it go. Oh, I see. No problem, bro. How about for $9,000 for your Howl and the Demon? Because I hope you understand that I also need to get a profit. I'm just a buy and sell trader and I'm doing this for my living. Now, the two skins I'm trying to sell him here are worth about $7,000 cash. So $9,000 is ridiculous overpay. It's another thing scammers like to do to convince people to take the risk. And remember, he says on his profile, I pay under market price. Well, obviously not entirely true. Now, in response, I said, can we go for $9,500? I really need the money. All right. Didn't notice that they did live ground on it though. Now he's talking about the sticker on the Dragon Law, which is worth some overpay, but more like $100 rather than $2,500. And in any case, I responded, Oh, I'll scrape that off before I send. I don't want to leave any crap on the gun before I sell, haha. -ha. I'm a nice guy like that. Ooh woo. Now, any normal trader would tell you not to do that because you're reducing the value of the gun, but because this guy was a scammer, you didn't give a shit. And in the meantime, I wanted to ramp things up a bit, so I decided to add, by the way, do you watch much anime? I love the stuff. My favorite is probably Interspecies Reviews. And if you don't know what that show is, and I, I hope you don't, it's basically the most degenerate anime ever created. Funimation had to literally apologize after they made a dub of the first episode. I, I don't know what the fuck they were doing, dubbing it in the first place. But what I was hoping was that this guy would tell me he loves the show as a way of love bombing me. It didn't quite work though. Instead he said, Yes, yeah, sometimes, but I'm most likely playing CSGO and Dota 2, though. Anyway, what payment method are you gonna use? And I responded, well, what payment methods do you have? I usually use cryptocurrency, bank transfer, PayPal. Which one's the safest? As I said, I really need that money. My, my entire life is ruined if I don't get it. I don't know if I'll make it otherwise. Crypto and bank transfer. Just tell me if which one suits for you. I think I used crypto once to buy a body pillow, a really realistic one, but my mum found out about it and took away access. How does bank transfer work? Do, do I have to transfer to another bank for it? I like my bank. Bank to bank. So I go from one bank to another? I'm just playing around, man. Wish to mark, winky face. Yeah, so apparently all that talk about hentai earlier didn't set this guy on alert, but it's only when I got confused about how bank transfers work that his noggin started jogging. Luckily though, I had a technique to lure him back in. I'm like 17, I don't know this shit. Look, I really need to sell those skins. Just tell me how bank transfers work and I can go to the bank and set it up. And that's all it took. A little sob story about how desperate I am and he couldn't fucking resist coming back. He just saw me as ripe for the picking and he couldn't let this one go. You're going to send it here on Steam, of course, Low, Don't you have PayPal or crypto, Bitcoin, ETH? You still there? I have always been here, Mr. Sensei. Anyway, I decided to move things on a little bit. I said, wait, I think I found a way to make a new crypto account. ETH, uh, what's ETH? Is that like Bitcoin? Yeah. I, I did know that by the way. I just wanted to fuck around and waste a bit more of his time. Now I responded, let me see which ones I can use. And he replied, all right, just let me know if you're done. Well, you should pay in Doge. Uh, I mean, not really, but it'd be funny. Though I tried to invest in Dogecoin, but just a little and wait for another one year, XD. I had like 2000 of them, but then my mum took away that account. People told me there's a way I could have saved them, but I was too dumb to figure it out. Rip, lol. Yeah, lol. So anyway, what crypto do you prefer? Wow, 
I had a really nice chat with this guy about crypto. We've got some, some chemistry between us. Maybe we should get married and have kids. But anyway, I replied, um, I think I'll just take the Ethereum. Just let me finish email verifying my account. Okay, if you have any cash rep or feedbacks about selling virtual items into cash. Now, this is a pretty standard scammer technique. They like to play up all their fake plus rep comments left by other scammers to justify you going first. And naturally, I decided to play dumb to see what he said. So I said, uh, no. Is this like a reputation thing? Yeah. Oh, you're aware on that. I'm kind of new to this, so this is like a thing to show you're trustworthy? Yes, sir. So what does it mean for our trade side? It affects how we do stuff, I guess? You must have rep, right? Otherwise you wouldn't mention it, haha. -ha. Oh, I've seen. How do I see it? Like, is it on your profile? Cash rep scoop is down, but I do have reps on my Steam profile, man. Oh, cool. Which part? Wait. Is it the comments? Yup. Oh wow, you've got lots of rep. So what does it mean for our trade, basically? You look like you're good at this. It's my part time. Just tell me if you're done setting up your ETH. Oh yeah, it's set up now. Do you want the wallet code so you can pay? Wallet address. Yeah, that thing. I, I don't know why you felt the need to correct me by the way. It's obvious what I meant. But yes, I'm just going to set up, but I also need assurance. Okay. Or I send the payment. Okay. What do I have to do for that? Now, at this point, rather than responding to me, he actually went offline for an entire day. He said to me he had work. I, I do believe him on that. He doesn't seem to be a good enough scammer to do it full time. So it's probably a good point for me to bring up. He's doing a fucking awful job explaining how assurance and rep works here. Like I've asked it five times at this point and he hasn't bloody explained. And the crazy thing is, it says on his Steam profile, he never goes first unless you have cash reputation. And I, I thought he was just going to tell me to read his profile, but he didn't. And that makes me think he's probably copy and pasted this whole section and doesn't actually know what's in it. But anyway, as I said, after a day, he did finally get back to me. Hello, sorry you've been busy at work. Anyway, can we talk now? Message me as soon as you're not already busy. It's okay if we're gonna talk on Discord. Don't know what the fuck that last sentence meant. It came out really jumbled. Anyway, I replied, sorry mate, been asleep. Once you're back online, we can resume talking. Someone offered me 8.5k for the skins, but I'd still rather go with your offer since it's higher. And by the way, no one had offered me shit. I just wanted to put a bit of pressure on the guy and get him to close out the deal quickly. Anyway, he responded. Hello, man. Appreciate it. Can we talk now? How are you, bro? Hello? I think you're starting to get a bit worried he might miss his opportunity at this point. So I replied, hey, man, I am back. You still there? If not, we can talk once you're back online. Yes, I'm here, bro. Anyway, how do you want to do this deal, bro? Fucking hell, mate. We spent ages discussing this already. What's taking you so long? Anyway, I replied, you said something about assurance. We agreed on crypto, right? Yeah, crypto through ETH or BTC, bro. Okay. How does assurance work? It's like the 50th time I've had to ask the guy. Do you have any feedbacks about selling virtual items into cash though, bro? Bloody hell, I've already told him this. So I just said no. So this is your first time selling? Yes. Now, at this point, I think he actually got slightly suspicious of me and began wondering how I got these skins in the first place if I didn't trade for them. Well, would you mind if I asked if where you did get those play skins because they are very rare, bro, low and expensive, bro. And you said you're only 17 years of age. Don't get offended, bro. I'm just curious. So I had to think on my feet here and come up with an excuse. So I said, I got them through Hellcase. Now, Hellcase is pretty much the dodgiest gambling site in existence. Never, ever use it under any circumstances. And what I said is a provable lie anyway. Cisco Exchange clearly shows they came from my main, which in turn came from Zippo. Any decent trader could figure that out in 30 seconds. But obviously, we're not dealing with a decent trader here. Oh, you mean you want to gamble? No. Yeah, people say gambling's dumb, but it worked for me. That's a lie, by the way. Gambling is dumb. Damn, no. What a look. Lol. It was probably really dumb for me to try it. I got insanely lucky. Yeah, especially if you only start having a couple of books and make it that far through heaven and devil and how, bro, XD. Exactly, haha. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're aware that you must have feedbacks or reps first about selling virtual items into cash, bro. Now, at this point, Sensei was actually going to do something that I didn't see coming. So I said, I don't. Does that cause a problem? Are we still able to trade? And he replied, Yes, but are you fine if we hire a middleman to make our deal safe and secure? Now, the word safe and secure, when translated from scammer, means, well, 
scam. But I was a bit surprised he asked about a middleman. I think since I was acting so clueless about rep, he was worried I wouldn't go first because that's how the scam works after all. I trade the items and instead of paying me, he just blocks me. So he figured he should switch it to a middleman scam. But I had some slightly different plans for our conversation. Sure, that's fine. Because neither of us can risk going first because we're dealing with big amount, bro. I appreciate it. I don't know any middlemen, though. We can hire on Reddit if you want. But at this point, I'm taking control of the conversation. Hmm, this might take too long. Is it possible I could just go first? You've got lots of rep. I really want to sell ASAP. If that's okay to you, well, why not? Just drop your BTC wallet so I can set up for your payment and send the payment immediately after you send the trade. So what do you think? Sounds good. Let me get that code. And by the way, just remember, I asked to be paid in Ethereum, not Bitcoin, so he's not doing a very good job keeping things consistent here. Okay. Take your time, brother. Okay. I will find that code. It's a big long thing with lots of letters and numbers, right? Yeah. It's copy and paste, but make sure it's correct. So double check it. Sure. Two sacks. Okay. No problem. Cool. Not long. Double check it. Also, okay. Good point. I'll make sure. Okay. Code is something 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 cloud nine. Is it correct? Did you double check it? Yes. Yes, to make sure. Copy paste. All right. You can send trade off and now to my trade link and once I saw it, I'm not going to accept it. I need to pay you first and ensure that money arrives to your crypto wallet first. Is that okay? Sounds good, smiley face. Now, obviously it actually doesn't sound good. He would have accepted the trade and blocked me if I'd done what he said, but I had slightly different plans. So I took a screenshot of the trade window, pasted it into the chat, and asked Sensei whether I was doing it correctly. Yes, they confirm it on your phone, bro. Okay, will do. By the way, those two knives in your inventory? Yes. Did you block this guy before he realized you'd scammed him? What? You heard me. Those are scam knives. That's a scammer's inventory. You've got a cock and balls as the rep on your profile. You've got scammers leaving plus rep comments on your profile. You've got the inventory history of a scammer. You're paying $9,500 for skins that are only worth $7,000, despite the fact that you only pay under the market price. Come on, the game is up. Now, he was quiet for a while after this, and I expected him to turn around and call me a and a and a whore and stuff like that, but I think I kind of left him in a bit of shock, and all I got was this. Come on, the fuck are you talking about? Well, you need to drink water or you need to rest forever. That's what you need, lol. At which point he blocked me and changed his custom URL. I, I get the impression he was freaking out a little bit, although I've got his Steam ID 64, so that didn't help him very much, and hopefully I've terrified him enough to stop him scamming for a while. In the meantime though, he has sold these two knives. They're now in the inventory of this guy, and this guy appears to be a regular trader, but based on his inventory history, he regularly accepts stuff off scammers. And I don't know whether he knows he's doing that. He might not realize these people are scammers, but WYSIWIFG, consider this video a notification. I'm not saying you're doing this on purpose, but what you're doing here is helping out scammers. And the last thing I wanted to say about our friend Sensei, he was really nice that entire conversation. He was patient, he was helpful because he wanted me to trust him. Don't fall for that. Just because they're acting nice doesn't mean they're not a scammer. Stay safe out there guys, and don't fall for this kind of stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe, massively appreciated. And a big thank you to Skinport for sponsoring this channel. Skinport is a marketplace that allows you to sell your skins for real cash. Now, the great thing about this website is that you can buy skins here for much less than you have to pay on the Steam market. Just log in through Steam and you can buy items right away on your credit card without any need to deposit first. So if you're looking to get skins and get them cheap, this is the place to buy. If you're looking to sell instead, it's got a super competitive sales fee of just 5% if you put skinport.com in your username. That's less than half of what you pay on Steam. So this is a, a great marketplace. I've used it for years now. I love it. And you can find a link to it in the pinned comment. Anyway, that's it from me. As always, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.